Ooh, what's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Clarus. And this is One Piece, Episode 5, Eat at Baratier. Those of you who know, know, and Clarus does not know. I do not know. We're going to go for dinner. It's a date night here at the One Piece Reaction Channel. If you want the full-length reaction, go to patreon.com slash nerdynightly, and you can have yourself a full meal. But if you like snacks, boy, do I have one for you right now. It's my wife. Hi. <laughs> Our ship is ready to sail. That's cute. This. Grandpa! <laughs> no! Grandpa, don't! Stop! It's my ship! I honestly can't believe Garp is wearing this shirt. Yeah. We're first. You go! Punch. <laughs> but first, lunch. Apparently he was in 300, and I would forgotten about it. Yeah. We received about 85 comments an hour about it. No, they broke the ship. It's so brand new. It's so brand new. Don't worry, they break the ship a lot. <laughs> this is going about as well as it should, if we're being honest. Yeah. Permission to fire. No kill shots. These pirates taken alive. I want these pirates taken alive. By order of the Marines, lower your sails and submit to my old. I love this so much. This snail is so funny. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, wow. That was effective. That. that was a critical hit. Before. Also, that guy just threw, like, shot. Yeah, Garp but... is fucking strong. Cool, cool, cool. Garp is no joke. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Garp is also crazy. Not bad, boy. Oh, he's proud. A <laughs> little bit. A little, little bit. bit. He's a little proud. You didn't tell me you could do that. I didn't know I could. <laughs> What's that one called? Gum Gum Balloon? Yeah. I think it is actually called Gum Gum Balloon. Oh, that's convenient. It's the high seas. <laughs> that's cute as fuck. This is not going to turn into Chicken Run, is it? I don't know that I've seen Chicken Run. But maybe I've seen Chicken Run. I don't know. Is that animated? Claymation? Yeah, they're trying to get over the fence. The Vice Admiral of the Marines is my grandfather thing? Ooh, that. Yeah, I don't really know the guy that well. It doesn't seem like a big deal. <laughs> that seems fine. Kind of seems like that falls under your job description. Fine. Zoro is notoriously good with words. Hmm, I can tell. About the battle, you want to talk about it? Nope. Okay, good talk. <laughs> you guys smell that? Smell what? Smells like butter. Hi, butter, yes. Distinctive smell. I mean, cooking butter? Yeah, I, you can smell that. I think he has brain damage. I think that every day. <laughs> Which means that there's someone, somewhere, cooking. Someone, somewhere, cooking. Add food to the equation and suddenly he knows how to navigate. What is that? It's a Denny's. <laughs> Oh my god, the people in that restaurant would kill you for saying that. Literally. I'll do you one better. Why is a barati? Wait. Yo, that's cool. It looks like this ship restaurant in Disney. <laughs> it kind of looks like a Las Vegas hotel. <laughs> yeah. Like a miniature version of a real thing. <laughs> well, in that case, we'll find a table. Yeah, I knew it! In three weeks. 
You'll have to excuse them. They're idiots. Of course. Right this way, ma'am. <laughs> oh, God. I love that they're keeping consistent from the anime that the boys are literally useless without Nami. <laughs> Welcome to Chef's Table. Get a move on it, you're slowing the line. Hey. I'm saying this. Quick change. Wow, that's nifty. After he apologizes for his bad manners. Over my dead body. <laughs> ah, let's go. Good fighter. Oh, he's next one on the crew. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Welcome to our shitty restaurant, but the only thing worse than the ambiance is the food. <laughs> you know, something sweet for someone sweet. Something wrong with your eye? Just blinded by your beauty. <laughs> he's so much worse on the anime. <laughs> regular water in a regular glass. Thanks. Right away. <laughs> Forgive my rude behavior, madam. Would madam prefer her water in a crystal glass, or would a golden bowl be more madam's? <laughs> Got a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Luffy looks so confused. They just met, yeah. If we delay, we might lose track of Luffy entirely. No SOS calls. We'll handle this problem on our own. We'll handle my grandson on our own. Just killing some time. Is that Matrim Coffin? Sick. Little Wilhelm scream in there. What is that sword? <laughs> Don't creak! <laughs> that was pretty cold. And Mihawk, bring him alive by any means necessary. Consorting with pirates! By all rights, we should be at the bottom of the sea. We're not, though. Luffy saved us. Are we really going to ignore the elephant in the room right now? It's elephant tuna, actually. I may not look like a big deal yet, but you're talking with the future king of the pirates. <laughs> <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> yeah, now you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> Kitchen is going right where the last one did. You can That's been out for hours. An hour. They ain't. One of everything. Yeah, Luffy is a big stomach. It expands. I love that 6,000 berries like $60. Well, I'm gonna slip 22. Be ready to sail at dawn. Interesting. Hmm. This feels like they're, they've changed a lot. Okay. In, in like the first four episodes, I felt like things were pretty held together. There's a lot of changes in this episode that are very interesting. And I'm okay. curious to see how they handle them moving forward. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to think you might be right about him. What is it, my birthday? Of course I'm right. I don't understand that line. Are you only right on your birthday, Helmeppa? Kobe, you may know how to tie a knot, but you don't know shit about how the world works. This is all, like, changed, like, moved forward, but I love the way they're using the Helmet Kobe stuff. Mm -hmm. It helps explain stuff that's going on in Luffy's world, and, like, it's, it's a really fun way of adapting that story that's, you know, this much. Yeah. There's cigarettes? All this boy does is smoke. The restaurant industry, man. Yep. 
If you want to cook, you should cook. Don't let some stubborn old man get in the way of your dream. Hmm, that's a nice way of tying it to the Garp reveal being early. That's cool. We lost 50 ships and 5,000 men. I was the only survivor. <laughs> what a cut! I guess something about you, you drink. You guess something about me, I drink. So I was about to get his ass kicked. Should I come back later, sir? I'm almost on here. <laughs> what is it, cadet? <laughs> My sensible three steak dinner. Oh, he's like that guy who only ate red meat. What? The guy who only ate red meat and got sick. <laughs> Jordan Peterson. <laughs> I don't know if Kobe's ready for the hard liquor. I, I would have started it off, off with a a spritzer. That is a lot of liquor. He's also like 70 pounds. Yeah. A uniform. Starting to fit you after all. That was a great scene. Mm -hmm. I love Garp. Yeah, he's great, honestly. I did distract him so that Luffy was like the official captain. <laughs> Hey, come meet the whole crew. <laughs> Guys, be my new best friend. <laughs> Just two men with jackets and no shirts. Which is why it pains me to inform you that tomorrow... ...we're going to die. Wait, what? <laughs> Mr. Best, you in single combat. You become the greatest swordsman in the world. You're serious. <laughs> oh, Zoro. Where? I mean, it's not the biggest ship. They'll find each other. There's something about this storyline that I'm hoping they keep. And it's very goofy. But I want them to keep it so bad. If you think Sanji's gonna give up on his dream because of you, <laughs> then forget it. Excuse me? <laughs> He's like, wait, what are we talking about? When you met me tied up on that cross, what did I say? What makes you think I want to play pirates with you? No, the other one. <laughs> I kill your kind for a living? No. <laughs> because you're my friend, you idiot. You said it yourself, you don't have any friends. Mm. Wow, that hurt. She said she never had a friend. <clears throat> when she was growing up. a kid. Who knows if that's even true, you know? Like, she might have had an imaginary friend. <laughs> I kind of wish Kobe had had that drink so that they could have cut from Usopp vomiting to him vomiting, uh, then back to Usopp. Nah, too much. Too much vomit. Knowing this world, there's probably, like, the vomit pirates. What a shot. Is that a real set? Did they build that whole thing? I don't know. It was wild. That must be, I don't think that's CGI. I think that's the set. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. yeah! <laughs> what the hell is that? I'm here for a sword fight. I don't hunt rabbits with a cannon. <laughs> That's the thing I wanted them to keep. God, I can't imagine choreographing this fight. Especially with his sword still on his back. Like, that's just gonna... <laughs> Uh-oh. Got you on a run, huh? Hardly. <laughs> Definitely could have killed him there. Coulda. Oh, that looked great. Yeah. I love this choreo. Fuck. How did he tie that? 
this together. And then he's just holding them really tight. Oh shit! <laughs> God damn. I will never lose again. Yeah, let's go. <gasps> I love how they adapted fucking all of that. Let's go! That went by so fast. Oh, I know. That was, and that was the shortest episode yet, I think. But, like, how do you not stop on that beat, you know? Yeah. A nice introduction to Sanji, but, like... He's not on the team yet. It took, um... It took... Oh, what just happened? Okay. Uh, it took, uh, it was up two episodes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I figured, um, I, I figured, like, there would be a second episode for, yeah. for this, like, part. Obviously not with, um, what's his face? Why did he leave Luffy? Because he wanted to. He was like, you know what? This is fun. Okay. Yeah. I think that um, Mihawk is one of the, like, few characters who is powerful enough in this world that <laughs> he's kind of bored. And mm. he views the Straw Hats, at least is what I get, between both interpretations. I think it's kind of similar. Th this plays out, obviously, the, a lot of this is very different in the anime because Don Krieg, the, like, purple mutton chop guy, he is the big bad of this arc for Luffy. Oh. Um, but they've just kind of been like, you know what, Don Creek isn't the important thing about this, so we're going to mm. have Mihawk kill him over here. It's better um, to have this guy as a more interesting character and, like, Well, no, Mihawk shows up here. Rival. He's just not. Mihawk literally shows up in the middle of this arc, does this, and then leaves, and then the arc continues. Mm. Like, it kind of plays out exactly like this. Right. They just didn't show Mihawk's incredible ship. Um, it's Next just, time. <laughs> I hope... I don't even spoil it for you because it is it no, is such a it. wild design. Mm -hmm. um, he is so so. I think that for him it's more like, oh yeah, I'll help the Marines out if I want. And then he meets them and he's like, you know what, you guys are actually fun. I kind of mm -hmm. want to see what you do because okay. that's more entertaining to me than helping the Marines out. Yeah, yeah. At least okay. that's what I got out of it. He just seemed to be the same in the same emotional state the entire time. Like I wish I don't know. I just wish that that was like a little bit more clear. I think that he is, like, so... There's there's more dialogue in the anime, but he's so um, based on... Because when I first watched it, the, the section in the other version, I was like, so does Jesus exist? <laughs> because he's so clearly based on sort of, like, the religious sort of... What? what? He's based off Jesus? No, no, no. But the cross, like all of his iconography is very rooted in like Judeo-Christian um, myth. I thought that was just the shape of the swords because like sh swords have... Well, he has a giant cross necklace on. Which is also a sword. But but he is, he is, he looks like the like sort of paintings of the Spanish Inquisition in a way. Um, and also his name's like Dracul, like he's based on like Dracula. Like there's a lot of like... References. There's also like nuns in One Piece, and I'm always like, is, oh. is Jesus real? But no, um, Oda just likes like Christian imagery. Um, oh, I didn't think it had anything to do with like a cross. I just thought like the shape of the sword. The necklace? Yeah, when he pulled out it and it was a sword, I was like, oh, it's about the shape of the sword, not like right. a cross. But I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great episode. That was the that was only fun. thing is at the end, and I, I was just like a little bit confused, but everything else was fantastic. Yeah, I like the introduction of Sanji. Um, I think that he's great. I love the kicking. He can clearly kick in a suit, which is hard to do, uh, which I, I really enjoyed. Well I love the design of his suit. Um, I loved all the outfits. <laughs> the the outfits are always great. The one thing that's, like, kind of weird to me is that Nami dresses like a woman from, like, 2002. Um, and so, I, I like... They're literally... But I, I, you want to know what that is? The, the manga... Was coming out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the, they are literally references to 
drawings that Oda did in 2002. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell. Yeah. Mostly with Nami. Mm-hmm. Um, and then again, the, the you know, the fashion sense in that well, time was something else. What I love about One Piece is that the characters aren't always wearing the same clothes. Mm-hmm. Like, they do change clothes. Right. And they've, Whereas they've brought that over. And animes, you have a look. Yeah. Like, Luffy always has, like, a red shirt on, but it isn't the same red shirt in every single scene. Um, and I loved Usopp's outfit in this. The, you it know, was the, something. The most bland of them is probably Zoro, but for good reason, right? Like, yeah. he's the most stoic of the characters. I thought he crushed this episode. You know, yeah. this is the most dialogue I think he's had so far. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it was great. I, I, I love the way that they translate at the end of this episode. I, I'm really happy. I like the Baratier arc so far. Um, it's fun. I, I mm-hmm. you know, it's it's going to be interesting to see how it ends without Don Creed being here. So, like, I'm really curious what the next episode is about. Also, like, I just what's... figured the Marines would show up, but maybe i don't know that was my that was just my guess because that guy yeah seems like he's like nah, whatever i'm gonna leave and so i feel like it's gonna have to be like the marines that give them chase because the marines didn't stop looking they just needed some time to fix the shit so that was my guess but i don't know yeah i'm curious i'm curious about the timeline of this episode as well um like where was mihawk fighting don krieg when and I, it, it doesn't matter, but it, like, you know, if you watch my reactions, you know that like my brain does this thing where I start to nitpick something. Where was Mihawk, or I guess how long have they been at the Baratier? Because Garp calls Mihawk and then Mihawk comes here. Mm-hmm. Which, Mihawk, in the anime, he just shows up randomly. He's oh. just like, he happens to be sailing by while all of this happens. I mean, there's um, a bunch of islands. As far as we know, as far as I know. Sorry. Island an hour away. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm just, it's, it's interesting. Uh, there's a lot I can't wait to talk about after next episode, I think, once they kind of reveal what the plot of this episode is going to be. For sure. Um, that what the, what the, of this arc is going to be now that they've kind of changed it so drastically, but handled it really well. Mm-hmm. Um, I, yeah, I, I love, I love the design of the, um, the, the belt or not the, 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 the maitre d'. Um, choosing oh. to have him be like a goldfish man was really cool and, um, he was just a beautiful design. I loved the way they did his ears. I thought the makeup team really crushed that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool stuff. I love Mihawk. He's so cool. And he's like literally in like one episode. And I'm, I'm like waiting for him to come back. Because oh, he's yeah. rad. And they, they crushed it. They, Other than not showing us his rad ass ship. I'm, um, I'm really happy with everything about him. I do love that like it is showing that everyone's like everyone obviously has their dreams and Luffy's is this like huge dream as well but like that that there's there's other parts about the other characters that are going to span several seasons right Mm -hmm. like because thousands of episodes yeah well because we've seen Zoro kick everybody's ass so far you know what I mean yeah except Queena as a kid sorry I mean like present day Zoro is the best that we've seen. So we believe mm-hmm. him to be the most competent. And so, like, having him have a loss here and be like, yeah, no, I'm going to come back, going to fuck you up later. Uh, I love that because it. I think it shows that the show is like, yes, we are committed to doing this long term, which I always like. Um, I, I, I like self-contained stories and series and seasons as well. But um, I think between that and, like, how good everything looks i think netflix is really invested in making this live action happen and and happen well the briate set is incredible yeah and i feel like almost like safe and taken care of in that that i don't need to like you know when people love a show and then it gets canceled well and this also netflix fucking knock on wood they'll cancel anything but like um it seems like they have invested a lot into this and so i as the audience am also willing to invest a lot into it does that make sense yeah yeah. It's funny because you saying that about the like, oh, Zoro's been so good so far and it sets up that he has like somewhere to go mm-hmm. is literally exactly what I said when I was watching the anime at the same time. Uh, it's just, it, it, it's funny that like the the reasons why One Piece works narratively and what is so strong about Oda's original writing of the story still comes across in every iteration of it. And I, I love that. I, I love that the the live action is so, and I know that's because he was involved and like he had say over every single change that they made. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I love that the storytelling of One Piece is intact here, and um, the the narrative feels very tight, e- even though it feels a little bit more adult in a way. Uh, I think that there's Nami and Zoro have a much more um, 
intellectual conversation between them than I think that we've seen them have yet in the anime. Right. Uh, their relationship to one another is very strong and I think very well done. And I, I'm excited to see where they go from here and how they grow. I, I do kind of see how they might be able to cut out middle parts of the um, story in those thousand episodes, especially because, you know, they're not going to cover any of the filler stuff that I, I think that by starting their relationship off a little bit tighter and having Luffy already kind of have a little bit more maturity and, and a little bit more sense than the anime version does, they're, they're going to be able to cut some of the character growth that comes in the middle, um, but uh, while still having these characters be delightful and, and moving and uh, have the emotional narrative of this show just be so tight and so consistent with the original that I'm... I'm I'm really impressed. Every episode of this I've liked. I keep waiting for it to fall off. Like I keep waiting for there to be something that I'm like, ah, yeah, there it is. And like even this episode changing a lot. Like I, I think the changes are strong and I'm Yeah. I'm so excited to see what they change next, kind of. Like yeah. I'm excited for the way they're adapting this. Yeah, it's been so tough lately having so many things that we have watched be adapted in a way. Yeah. And and really, really like just being disappointed in a lot of them. And being like yeah. being like Maybe, like, you know, like, maybe there's no way to adapt it or, like, whatever it is. Or or streaming just, uh, streaming... Ruins it. Doesn't understand how to adapt stuff. Yeah. yeah. The, the difference with this is so stark. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm honestly shocked. Like, when One Piece live action was coming out, I was like, oh, great, another thing that people are going to be pissed off because they change things. And, like, we, we, when we watch adaptations, we will talk about things that are changed, and they're not bad because they're different. They're bad because they impact the story negatively and, yeah. and the future of the story negatively. And obviously you have For haven't... us. Subjectively, you know what I mean. Sure, yeah. Whenever we are doing our reactions, it is always our subjective opinion. Yep. Like, we are never, like, our word is law or like... And, and, well, occasionally we are. Well, you know, slavery is bad. Like that, <laughs> that one, yes, sure. Yeah. Um, but, but I, you know, some people, like, I, I, I do notice in the comments a little riled up like we're trying to tell them what's right and wrong and, and mm -hmm. um, I think it's always good to keep reminding you guys as well as us that like this is just for fun and it's our opinion and it doesn't matter that much it's a fucking reaction to a show um, yeah my, what was my train of thought uh, fuck good talk yeah no I, I <laughs> it's it's one of those things where I just have been let down by a lot of adaptations. I didn't expect much from this, and no, I haven't. I haven't seen it, so there wasn't much for me to expect. But yeah. having watching this with you and you seeing it, and also seeing a bit ahead of it, mm -hmm. and not having those like reservations of like, oh well, if they change this, like, I don't know, or oh, the world works differently, and so like. How is that going to fit in with, you know, X, Y, Z further along? Like, there doesn't really seem to be any of that. Like, things are different, but they still work because, like, the heart of the story matters and the, it functions the same way. And they're just telling it in, with a different, like, medium. Yeah, I think the next three episodes have a harder time mm -hmm. than the first five did. Um, I think that they made a big change here that is going to very much impact the, one of my favorite story beats. Of the first, you know, 50 episodes. Uh, so, so we'll see if you don't like it as much. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Uh, much like how Kuina's death and reveal of her death, I feel like didn't land as hard. There are some other emotional beats coming up that I hope they don't lose the, that. Because if, you know, Kuina is like one flashback that um, I understand it's really hard to run a flashback into the same kind of emotional uh, heights that that dedicated episode did. Well, and I, I want to touch on that. Having, like, immersing yourself for that full 20 minutes or whatever it mm -hmm. is in that story and those characters, I always find that more to be emotionally impactful as well. But there are some, like, there, there are some emotional beats coming up that I hope are as intact as they were in the anime because they are some of the reason why I love this series so much. Right. Uh, and so, like, some of, the, some of the harder stuff to adapt, honestly, but also some of the stuff that I care about more uh, is coming up here. And... It's it's that's really going to be what the show hinges on. Like you, if you you can nail the characters and nail the world, but if I don't care about the the conclusion of the arcs, the the whole thing will fall flat. Right. 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 Um. And so they've nailed the world. They've nailed the characters so far, and I, I'm really hoping these next three episodes land the ship. Um. And I, I'm curious where we're going. Yeah. 
Uh, I still miss the veggies, but that's fine. If you like the video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave me in comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her. This episode, that algorithm goddess is... What was the sword's name? I don't remember the sword's name. He said it. And yeah, now I'm like, it's fuck. It's like the woo something. I don't, yeah, fuck, I don't know. It's Nami. Always. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so curious where her arc's going. Uh, if you want to follow us on the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clarice Polaris. Do something nerdy tonight. Bye. Bye. Bye.